Nia and I were adamant that we loan and borrow works by real living black artists from Chicago. So Nia and I did studio visits with every one of these artists, talking to them about their process, looking at work. It was almost like we were curating an exhibition. It was so great to mix our fictional art with the art of these amazing black artists. We got Hamza Walker to curate the show for us. He was able to get us such amazing pieces. They basically asked if I could get into the mindset of a black female curator in Chicago now, what kind of show would she do? It was quite beautiful that they actually wanted to get some kind of sense, not just for an art scene, but Chicago's art scene. In the art world, cities like New York City, LA, Miami, Berlin sort of gobble up the attention, whereas Chicago is this incredible city for artists, for galleries, and for museums. In Brianna's show, we were really blessed enough to get actual Chicago artists, and we're very grateful that they lent us their work. It's just really beautiful. I think Chicago is so important to the original Candyman. I personally just love to be as specific as possible to the place that the story is set. And we really just felt like there was no need to go anywhere else to get art or to find artists. We wanted this movie to be for and about Chicago.